Hello everyone, this is Zay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square minus 1 into y equals to cos x. Solution. Firstly, let's find the order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative in the differential equation. Here d square is the highest derivative, so our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree will be 1, right? Or we can write the given differential equation as d square y minus y equals to cos x. We know that differential operator d equals to d by dx. Then d square will be d square by dx square, right? Then we can write d square y as d square y by dx square minus y equals to cos x. Here the highest derivative is d square y by dx square, so our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1. Now, coming to the problem. Given differential equation is d square minus 1 into y equals to cos x, which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square minus 1 and q equals to cos x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by taking RHS to 0, we will get the homogeneous equation f of d into y equals to 0, right? And we will find yp using 1 by f of d into q. So now let's find complementary function firstly. Now let's find complementary function using the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to m square minus 1. We are having f of d equals to d square minus 1, right? So let's replace this differential operator d by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 1. Now our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 1 equals to 0. We can write this one as one square. Right? The LHS part is of a square minus b square form. So we can write it as a plus b into a minus b. Now equate each factor to 0. From m plus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus 1. From m minus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 1. Right? Then m equals to minus 1 plus 1. So here the roots are real and distinct. Therefore, m equals to minus 1, 1 are the roots of our auxiliary equation. It is m square minus 1 equals to 0, which are real and distinct, or you can say real and different. We know that when two roots say m1 and m2 are real and distinct, then we can write the complementary solution as one constant into e power, one root into x plus the other constant into e power, the other root into x. Now, our complementary function looks like this yc equals to c1 one constant into e power one root say minus one into x plus c2 into e power another root minus sorry plus one into x therefore yc equals to c1 e power minus one into x is minus x 
plus c to the power x. Now we can find the particular integral. We know that particular integral is given by y equals to 1 by f of d into q. Here f of d is d square minus 1 and q is cos x. So this is of 1 by f of d into cos ax form. Now for a equals to 1, we need to find d square which is given by minus a square. Then for a equals to 1, we we'll get minus 1 square which is equals to minus 1. Now let's see what happens if we replace d square by minus 1 in the denominator. We should always remember that denominator must be non-zero. Okay. If we get the denominator 0, then we get something like this. 1 by 0 into cos x which is undefined. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so the total term becomes undefined. Right. Then what we have to do? Let's see. Let's see what we are going to get by replacing d square by minus 1. Just replace d square by minus 1. We will get 1 by minus 2 into cos x. If the denominator is non-zero. So, we can dare to replace d square. Replace d square by minus 1. Then we will get 1 by minus 1 minus 1 into cos x. Which is equal to 1 by minus 2 into cos x. We can write this 1 by minus 2 as minus 1 by 2 into cos x. Or... Minus 1 by 2 into cos x. Therefore, y equals to minus 1 by 2 into cos x. Now, let's write general solution. The general solution. Is given by y equals to yc plus yp then for yc c1 equal minus x plus c2 equal x and yp minus 1 by 2 into cos x therefore y equals to c1 equal minus x plus c2 equal x minus 1 by 2 into cos x is the required solution So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.